Lorenza, I wanted to start off by asking you, you share most of your scenes with John Hamm's character. So how was it working together on this project? Oh, uh, he's phenomenal. I've been a fan of John's for a very long time. I've followed his, you know, he's, he's a true comedian. I've, I've been watching all of his work on the, I mean, the episode from 30 rock where he plays the, the, the boyfriend and then his stint in Larry David, he's just, he's always had an incredible humor to him and coming into this project and having to play off of him. I was quite nervous because I didn't know if I was going to be able to deliver and actually, you know, live up to that and he's a very generous actor and he's incredibly good at allowing the space and um the energy flow for for for, for you to, to do that and it ended up being a really fun and um cool experience yeah i really loved your on-screen dynamic i thought i thought it was great it was awesome yeah uh, <laughs> he's the best banter and he's incredibly smart and his references are insane. Like it's, you have to be with like your, your phone and Googling everything because he'll come at you with like jokes from like specific movies from such a decade. And you're like, oh my God. And it's like, I, I need to learn and I need to watch so much more. So he's, you learn a lot while you're with him. And then Annie, I enjoyed Eve's character so much. I think the best way... The best way to describe her, I think, is just kind of chaotic. She's <laughs> She doesn't really bat an eye at all these crazy things going on around her. So was it fun to play someone like that? Oh, yeah. It was very freeing. And um, not too much of a, of a stretch for me from uh, what my real, <laughs> my real life. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, it was so much fun um, to play somebody who just doesn't care um there's a real freedom in that yeah because i find in my own life like i have that sort of chaos but i do i'm always like concerned about oh i made oh no one at the you know my kid's school is gonna look at me the same again or whatever but um but now it's like you know it's, it's just it's very freeing to play somebody who just doesn't you know doesn't have that Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and Annie, you kind of answered this, but I was curious to know how similar you guys found yourselves to your characters or if this was basically like playing your alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lorenzo was saying earlier, I mean, we were talking about how um, you you have to find with each character there, you have to find that part of that person within yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to you know, so um, you go around in there and then you, you pull from yourself to play. So it's for me, it's a piece of myself that I bring yeah. to kind of each one. Um, and then you kind of have this like spectrum of colors or like layers or things that, you know, you do with each, uh, you know, in sure, each. Sure. In each yeah. Yeah, okay. Same. I, for me, I mean, Angela had, a, I had a similar feeling of freedom in playing her. There's something that happens when you play a larger than life character who's quite fearless and sure of themselves and just kind of knows what her place is in the world in a way that I wish I had more of. Sometimes I do, <laughs> but same as Annie saying, like for me, there's, there's, it's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's one of it's something inside of me that that Angela embodies that I was able to then extend and create that with it. But it's an it's an extension of me. So, yeah, there, I, I, I do have some of Angela in me <laughs> for sure. Awesome. I am going to have to wrap. But thank you guys for chatting with me. I really enjoyed this film. It was a lot of fun.